I think, I think we're back. <laughs> hey Jeremy, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. So we're back at Trek again, and uh, today we're going to be talking all about e-bikes. And this is a long overdue segment. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of my uh, favorite topic areas. Uh, Jeremy here at Trek has been so kind yeah. as to uh, give us some information and, and tell sure. us all about what's happening in the e-bike world. And one of the first things is, so, Jeremy, t tell us a little bit more about so, how e-bikes kind of arrived. So e-bikes arrived about... 10 plus years ago, around that 10-ish years, um, where they started hitting the market, mm -hmm. um, came out and they basically are pedal assist bikes that they first started coming out with. Mm -hmm. um, and really was that unknown area of, hey, is this considered a bicycle? Is it considered a moped? Is it considered a motorcycle? What's going on? So okay. um, legislative kind of took off and was like, hey, what is this thing? Um, mostly doing it for like commuting rides, things like that. And then it started to tri trickle its way in um, about, I'm going to say six years now into more mountain biking where we see it in more of like any bike on the showroom floor has an e-bike version of it. Started about 10 years ago, got into it. Um, more of that, more of that pedal assist, yeah, where there's no throttles on it. Um, and then other companies did come out with throttles, but mostly just to get people more active and a little bit easier to okay. ride a bike. That's the biggest thing. So there's different types of bikes. There's these pedal assist units. The pedal assist units are class ones and class threes. And we'll, get, we'll, we'll talk about classes in a second. Yep. Then there's a class two, which has got the throttle. Correct. Okay. It's throttle and it's either 20 miles an hour or 28 miles an hour, right. um, which is what you could do. But you could turn on the motor and battery without having the pedal. So there's a throttle on it. Okay, but the fundamental difference between a pedal assist unit and a motor. Yeah. So on a class one bike or a class three bike, those have pedal assist units. Correct. So a pedal assist means that you have to do the work. Correct. You have to put in the amount of energy into the bike and then the bike will give it back to you so, up to a certain amount of speed. Okay, so, so that's yeah. a really fundamental difference. When you pedal, and let's say I put in 10 pounds of force, the bike with the pedal assist unit will amplify. Correct. Right, that'll, yep. it'll amplify my pedal stroke. And by doing that, the bike will go either a little faster or not, or it makes the pedal a little easier. So if I'm going up a hill, that amplification is the, is the assist piece. Yes, it's kind of like riding with a third leg. Okay. That's the best way to describe it. It's hard to describe it because you really have to ride it to, to experience it. But let's say you're going up a hill this steep. Sure. Yeah. With that pedal assist, and depending on what mode, it'll make this steep feel like this steep. So you're still going up a hill, but it just makes it a little bit easier. Right. That's the biggest thing. Um, it gets it more enjoyable to go out and ride. On a, on a class two bike, which is the ones that have rear hub motors. Yes. Yeah, on this guy here. Oh, this, guy, this one has one of those yes. rear hub motors. Correct. Right. Okay. Well, we'll take a look at yeah. that in a second. The rear hub motor is really a different kind of beast, is it not? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, a different, different ride quality is the biggest okay. thing. Um, a lot of the weight is in the back of the bike, so you feel it there. Where like more on that mid-drive, it brings the center of gravity down. Pedals more like a regular bike because that weight is centered in the bike. Okay. In so, different torques. So in, in these type of bikes here, yeah, I'm going to yep. bring this one up a little bit closer. And motor, and this is truly is kind of a motor rather than assist unit, right? Uh, still assist. This one? Okay. Yep, this one still assists. Okay. So everything that Trek makes is pedal assist. There's oh, okay. no throttles There's on There's no it. throttles on Okay, yeah. so this one, uh, the rear hub is in the back, and the rear hub motor, it basically, the, because the weight is in the back, and I see the batteries in the back as well. So there's a, there's a lot of weight that sits onto the back end of the bike. At this yes. Point, right. So that, that's fair to say. Yeah. Okay. And it also, by doing that, it makes the bike a little less centered, as you were saying, correct? Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. So handling the front, the front ends is more like a regular bike where it kind of, I would float more because the weight's all in the back. Okay. Um, it kind of has that kind of like in a truck, if you have the bed full of like bricks, how it drops the back end down. That's okay. kind of that feeling, kind of like a boat in the water. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna put this one back here yep. a little bit. So, we, so on, on a rear hub drive unit like this, yep. what, what would you think is some of the advantages to that over a mid-drive one? Uh, the advantages of the hub driven is the price point. 
for the okay. customer. Um, that's the biggest thing where this guy getting into it, it's $1,500. Okay. Um, whereas those mid drives would start about that $2,000 and go up from there. I see. Um, so yeah. really the big thing is the price point of it. Um, okay. Still ride quality is still pretty well, mm -hmm. um, but that just mid drive is just that next step up that the ride quality is more like a standard bike weighted properly. You can expect like when you're turning a corner or something like that, it's going to feel kind of weird. Yeah, if a little you're, bit. Compared to a regular, yes. uh, regular bike that we grew up with riding our pedal bikes or compared to that with a, uh, a mid pedal assist unit. Exactly. A, mid, a mid drive unit. Yes. <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. I, I want to say, you know, I keep wanting to say the word motor and it's not a motor. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. You know, that really, that only that motor application comes into play once someone starts hitting a throttle. Exactly. Yeah. When you don't have to pedal, you just sit there and then you twist the throttle and it goes. Right. Which is now a, a moped. Yeah. Now it's, yeah, now <laughs> it's a motorcycle moped, basically, exactly. where you just sit on and enjoy the ride. Yeah.